Orbit. Beyond the Blue. Long ago, when the universe was young, it was much harder to see. During the first billion years or so following the Big Bang, the space between the stars and galaxies was filled with clouds of cooled hydrogen gas, which absorbed all light. As a result, if any intelligent life existed at the time, they would have seen nothing but darkness out in space. No other stars or galaxies would have been visible to them like they are to us. It would just be pitch black, dark. However, things began to shift approximately a billion years after the massive Big Bang. The cutting-edge James Webb Space Telescope has now provided insights into the evolution of the early universe, which has long remained a mystery. The new observations have helped pinpoint what sparked the epoch of reionization, the period when the opaque universe gradually transitioned to become transparent. That's right. The rest of the universe would be hidden from us if it weren't for this transparency. And now Webb has revealed how it happened. Before diving into the latest discovery, let's rewind. Webb's superpower to gaze back in time has aided a team of astronomers in finding some definitive evidence. The latest observations reveal that early galaxies may have played a part in this dramatic cosmic evolution. These galaxies existed 900 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers believe that the stars in some of the early galaxies released enough light to heat and ionize the surrounding gas. This, in turn, began to remove the dense gas fog over hundreds of millions of years. As the researchers looked back into the teeth of reionization, they saw a very distinct change. Galaxies, which were made up of billions of stars, were ionizing the gas around them, effectively transforming it into transparent gas. The observations suggest that space areas around these tiny galaxies formed small transparent bubbles, which grew larger and larger, eventually merging with one another and rendering the entire universe transparent over the following hundred million years. Webb measured that galaxies were generally surrounded by transparent regions about two million light years in radius. For this observation, the light source is a luminous quasar, which are bright galactic cores that are considered to be fueled by supermassive black holes. The scientists concentrated on 59 galaxies using the light of this quasar. Its huge flashlight illuminated the gas between the quasar and the telescopes. The light moved toward us through various regions of cosmic gas, including opaque or transparent gas, along the way. By illuminating gas along our line of sight, the quasar gives us extensive information about the composition and state of the gas. Surprisingly, this quasar's black hole is the most massive known in the early cosmos, weighing 10 billion times the mass of our Sun. Even as they answered the question of what was ultimately responsible for the transparent universe we see today, this team of researchers also added to another growing mystery about the early cosmos. Given what we know about star formation and how stars gather together into galaxies, astronomers thought they had a pretty good idea of how many galaxies they'd find in the early universe. However, the numbers Webb is revealing far exceed those expectations. If you had a lot of time on your hands, you could count 45,000 galaxies in this new photo from the James Webb Space Telescope. What you are seeing here isn't some random patch of space. It's actually a very famous region called the Great Observatory's Origins Deep Survey, or GOODS for short. Astronomers who want to spy on the earliest stages of our universe come here to look. Scientists have been studying goods for years with various instruments, including the Hubble Space Telescope, Chandler X-ray Observatory, and Spitzer Space Telescope, to name just a few. But JWST is by far the most powerful telescope to turn its sights on goods. And the results show it. 
This recent image from Webb offers astronomers an unprecedented, detailed look back in time. Previously, the earliest galaxies we could see just looked like little smudges, astronomer Kevin Hainline of the University of Arizona said in a statement. Now, we can see that some of them are actually extended objects with visible structure. And James Webb didn't stop there. JWST also discovered about 700 new galaxies in goods. What's more, these never-before-seen galaxies are some of the youngest ever observed, dating back to between 370 million and 650 million years after the Big Bang. The sheer number of these galaxies was far beyond predictions from observations made before Webb's launch, the Space Telescope Science Institute said in a statement. With hundreds more galaxies to study in unprecedented detail, thanks to JWST, astronomers are learning that galaxies in our early universe were more turbulent than previously thought. In particular, by studying the light signatures of these young galaxies, astronomers spotted something they didn't expect – strong emission lines. Almost every single galaxy that we are finding shows these unusually strong emission line signatures indicating intense recent star formation, Ensley said in a statement. These early galaxies were very good at creating hot, massive stars. The James Webb Space Telescope may have just found the first stars in the universe. It's something that you'd think we'd have seen by now considering how far Hubble has been able to look back in time for decades. But the search for these stars has been long and fruitless for many, many years. Researchers call them Population 3, or Pop 3 stars, because sometimes astronomers name things in reverse for some reason. Our Sun is a Pop 1 star. Crucially, this has nothing to do with how far along a star is in its individual life cycle. Think of it more like generations if Pop 1 are the equivalent of Gen Z stars, Pop 3 are the boomers. And we've never seen a boomer star. Technically, we don't know for sure that they ever existed. If this is true, it's the end of one of the biggest searches in all of astrophysics, ever. These are game-changing discoveries that the generation of space enthusiasts before us would have hoped to see during their lifetime. We are tremendously lucky to get to witness these discoveries, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue.